Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to create Active Directory sites and subnets in Windows Server 2022. Let's first understand what an Active Directory site and subnet are. Sites in Active Directory represent the physical structure a topology of your network. Active Directory uses topology information stored as site and site link objects in the directory to build the most efficient replication topology. In simple word, a site is a set of well-connected subnets. Sites represent the physical structure of your network while domains represent the logical structure of your organization. Active Directory sites are used for managing organizations that have branches spread across different geographical locations but fall under the same domain. It is a robust solution to geographically manage an AD network without changing any aspect of the logical structure of the environment. So we can say that sites are physically groups of well-connected IP subnets that are used to efficiently replicate information among domain controllers. Each Active Directory environment needs to have at least one AD site defined for itself. The first site gets created just as the first domain controller is created in the AD forest and it's called default first site name. The default first site name contains all domain controllers added to the domain until new sites and subnets are created. Keep in mind that the site can have domain controllers from more than one domain. Active Directory sites are necessary for three primary functions, replication, authentication, and Active Directory enabled services. When a client attempts to authenticate or look for resources within the forest, it will send its request to the closest domain controller. The domain controller utilizes the client's IP address and subnet for the optimal way to allow authentication. Using ADDS, the domain controller examines the client IP address and subnet and compare it with the defined sites and subnets to determine its location. If a client's network address and subnet belong in the same site as the domain controllers, it will authenticate the client to domain controllers within the site storing the client site information in the client's registry. If the client belongs to another site, it will store the site information in the client's registry and direct it to ask a domain controller in the remote site for authentication. If there are no sites defined or if they are defined improperly, the authentication or service request might get sent to another physical site. By crossing over the WAN to find resources and to authenticate against domain controllers in a separate site, Increased latency and decreased response time to the client are highly likely across low connections. By establishing multiple sites, you can ensure that clients authenticate against domain controllers nearest to them, reducing authentication latency and giving traffic off when connections. Active Directory enabled services can leverage site and subnet information to enable clients to look at the nearest server providers more easily. I'll be covering other terminologies related to Active Directory sites and services in the upcoming videos. Our objective in this video is to create a new Active Directory site and associated subnet. For this demo, we have single domain Active Directory forest named msftwebcast.com. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller. Membership in the Enterprise Admins group in the forest or the domain admins group in the forest root domain or equivalent is the minimum required to complete this procedure. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Active Directory Sites and Services. Maximize the window. Expand Sites. We can see the default Active Directory site with the name Default First Site Name. Expand Default First Site Name and Expand Servers. Our domain controller WS2022-TC01 
for msftwebcast.com domain is visible. It's possible to rename the default Active Directory site instead of creating a new one. It depends on your scenario and requirements. In this video, we want to create a new Active Directory site. To create a new Active Directory site, right-click the sites and then click New Site. Type in the name of the new Active Directory site. I have given name Surat Ajo. To create a new AD site, you must select the associated site link. Otherwise, the OK button will not be available. Site link objects are used to form links between AD sites so that replication can occur between Active Directory sites. The default site link is called default IP site link and it gets created when Active Directory is first installed in a forest. Active Directory sites are manually linked to each other using the site links. In this way, domain controllers can replicate changes between each other from one site to another. We can configure cost and frequencies for faster and optimized replication between sites. In short, a site link is used to manage the logical flow of replication between physical sites. As per your requirement, you can also create a custom site link object. In this example, I'll select default IP site link for our Active Directory site. Click the OK button to create a new Active Directory site. A new AD site has been created. The pop-up window provides some additional information about the next step. Make sure that Surat HO site is linked with other sites using site link. Also, don't forget to add subnet for Surat HO site. Click OK. Now that an Active Directory site other than the default site has been created, a subnet that specifies the site boundaries has to be created as well. Right-click Subnets and select New Subnet. In Prefix, type the IPv4 or IPv6 subnet prefix. Right-click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type command ipconfig slash all and hit Enter key. This domain controller currently has an IP address of 172.1872.51 and a subnet mask of 255.255.252.0. The IPv4 local network range in this example is 172.18.72.1 to 172.18.75.255. Based on our IPv4 address range, the prefix will be 172.18.72.0 slash 22. Type exit and hit enter key to close the PowerShell. Type IPv4 network prefix which is 172.18.72.0/22. Select a site object for this prefix. In our example, select Surat HO site and click OK. You have now created a new subnet associated with the Surat HO site. It is also possible that you can link multiple subnets to single Active Directory site. Once you have created a new Active Directory site and subnet, you can start moving your domain controllers to the new site. Let's right-click on our domain controller and select Move. Let's select Surat HO Active Directory site. Click OK. Expand Surat HO, expand servers, and we can see our domain controller WS2022-DC01 is stored under Surat HO site. I hope now you know what Active Directory sites and subnets are and how to create them in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. That's all for this video on how to create Active Directory sites and subnets in Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.